What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Jay here and in today's episode, I'm going to break down for you the top 10 holdings in Bill Gates' current stock portfolio. He also just bought a stock that might surprise a lot of you, so don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and here's the video. All right, the stock we're going to talk about first is Anheuser-Busch, ticker symbol BUD. It did not make the top 10 in Bill Gates' portfolio, but he recently bought $96 million worth of the stock, and this is a new position in the portfolio. So that's really interesting. I think he sees this weakness as a little overblown, and there could be an opportunity for some serious share appreciation with Anheuser-Busch. All right, Anheuser-Busch is coming in down around 7% for the year. We see the big drop once all the craziness with the Bud Light campaign came out. The stock plummeted. I want to check at the three-year chart. Three-year high is around, you know, 80 bucks. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Anheuser-Busch. I wish I could get it a little cheaper. If you look at some of their specs, the P.E. ratio is coming in around 18 right now. Forward P is in the 17s. For a company that's not growing too much, EPS growth forecast around 12%. It's not terrible, but I don't completely love Anheuser-Busch. I think there's better opportunities in the market, but it is a safe company. The profits are going to continue to come in whether or not this you know, whole boycotting of Bud Light lasts. It's got a time limit on it. Eventually, people are going to buy it, be buying the Bud Light again, so I'm not worried about that. But this is an interesting stock to keep your eye on. If we can get it under $50 a share, I'm totally in for Anheuser-Busch. Here we go with Bill Gates' top 10 stocks in his portfolio. This stock is 10 is the smallest position and one will be the largest position. 10 through 5, I'm just going to break down a little bit of the stocks and then in the top 5, we're really going to get into the big positions that he has, why he has them, and whether or not I think these stocks are buys at the prices they're at right now. All right, FedEx has done great this year. It's up over 40%. It has a, it's had a monster year. FedEx is absolutely crushing it. This wasn't even a top 10 position for them, but since it's almost, you know, went up 50% since they bought the stock, it has moved into their top 10. Bill Gates and Melinda's fund currently owns $380 million worth of FedEx. After this run up, especially a stock like FedEx, it's, they're not like shooting growth to the moon or anything like that. So that since the stock has run up 40%, I'm just going to leave FedEx where it is. I'm not touching FedEx after this huge run up. Good for Bill. He got in at a perfect time for FedEx. Absolutely nailed it. We look at FedEx real quick. Three years are up 27%. Year to date, almost 50%. Oh my gosh. They are absolutely crushing it. But you know, the price is still cheap-ish. It's P.E. ratio is around 17. Forward P.E. is around 15. So that's kind of priced right where they're at. But look at this. If you look right here, the price to earnings growth ratio, the peg you want to buy like in the one-ish range, it's almost four times that. So I'm not a buyer at FedEx at these current prices. All right. Let's go back to number nine, Walmart. Walmart is the biggest brick and mortar retailer in the world, guys. It's highly anticipated second quarter earnings were a positive bunch of figures. And the firm beat analyst EPS and also increased its full year revenue growth guidance to the high end of four and a half percent. So these big box stores like Walmart, they're going to grow in that three to five and a half percent range per year. There's not a ton of growth there. Walmart is trading at a pretty high PE too. So I'm not, you know, particularly jump into invest in Walmart. Let's check out the numbers real quick, everybody. Yeah, the last time I checked, yeah, like they're, if you look at the price, it's almost trading at a 30 PE for a company with 4%, 4.5% growth per year. Paying a PE ratio of 30 seems a little high to me. Actually, it seems super high to me. I would want to be buying Walmart in the 20 ish range with a forward PE in the 17 or 18s. That's a buy for me. At this current valuation, there's no chance I'm touching Walmart at all. All right, then we go down to Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's trading really rich too, up in the high 20s. I don't like it. I don't. I mean, these stocks are growing in the mid, you know, three to five percent range. Coke is not for me. Let's see what they say. The firm's second quarter earnings saw it report a dollar 32 in EPS, which was seven cents higher than the analysts estimated. So their their brand is super valuable, and you can't beat that. If you want, if you want like a safe dividend play. 
You're not going to set the world on fire. I think they're paying around a 3% dividend right now for Coke at this current valuation. I would want to get it a little cheaper than it's at right now. Bill Gates and Melinda's fund currently owns $517 million worth of Coke. Meh, not for me. I'm not too familiar with Echolab. Let's see what it says. Echolab is an industrial water treatment and pest control products and service provider. Water treatment and pest control products, are they seem like businesses that I want to be in. We're always going to be needing to get a clean drinking water and bugs are not going anywhere anytime soon. Orkin is like a multi-billion dollar company every year. So those two business models I really like. And it says that Melinda and Bill Gates's fund is the biggest investor in Echo Labs coming in with $974 million worth of stock in Echo Lab. All right, and then number six is John Deere Company. They do industrial tractors and crawlers and other big machines that help you know farmers do their job every day. This is a great business model. I like them. They currently own $1.5 billion worth of John Deere stock. Mr. Gates' foundation is John Deere's biggest shareholder since it owns almost 4 million shares worth $1.5 billion. Oh my goodness, they own a lot of that company. All right, everybody, that rounds out the bottom five of Bill Gates' biggest holding. Now we're going to move on to the top five and break down these five stocks. Here we are breaking into the top five holdings of Bill Gates and his foundation's holdings. Okay, the number five stock in Bill Gates' portfolio is Caterpillar, coming in at $1.8 billion dollars worth of stock for the Bill Gates Foundation. Uh, Caterpillar is one of the largest industrial equipment manufacturers in the entire world. If you've ever seen a construction site anywhere, they're all cat products. But there's not a lot of growth here. It says there's a $6 upside. They're trading at $243 a share. So Caterpillar is, you know, at capacity for me. I don't think there's a lot of growth here. They're up 14% year to date. And then they have a 2% dividend, 1.89%, not even 2%. But, you know, 16% a year is nothing to sneeze at. Are they going to continue to grow at this rate? I'm not sure. But I think we're kind of at the high end in valuation perspective for Caterpillar. Let's see what their uh, specs are trading at. The, P the forward PE at 13 is a pretty good buy, I'm not going to lie. It actually surprises me that the forward PE as is as low as it is. That means analysts are projecting a lot of profits for Caterpillar. I think all these infrastructure deals are going to be funneled right to Caterpillar. I live in LA and they're building the subway now and there's like Caterpillar products all along Wilshire Boulevard, which like goes through the heart of Los Angeles. So there could be, you know, that 10 to 20 percent gains every year for Caterpillar for the foreseeable future. So if you're a dividend holder, you're getting a small dividend, but you're also getting pretty quality share appreciation. So for me, I like Caterpillar. It's a buy for me. The fourth biggest position in Bill Gates' portfolio is waste management. He owns about $6 billion worth of stock in waste management. Their net income and their stock price are flat for the year. There is absolutely zero share appreciation for waste management, which is disappointing. It's a stable business. It's a solid business, but no growth. Annual dividend is less than 2%, 1.77%. Not awesome at all. And then they're, look, and it's trading expensive too. Price to earnings 28, forward PE 26. I don't have a lot to say about waste management, guys. I am not buying waste management with a 10 foot pole. It needs to be cut in half valuation before I would even contemplate buying waste management. If I was Bill Gates, I would be selling this stock for sure. It is just dead money. No share appreciation. Let's just see for shits and giggles. I mean, three-year chart up 43%. That's pretty awesome. But I think we're at the cap, man. I really do. I don't see this going up. A five year chart. So we're getting, you know, five years, we're getting around 12, 13% compound annual growth rate, which is amazing. If you can get that every year from waste management, by all means, do it up. But at 30 PE and like a 26 forward PE, I am out on waste management for sure. That is a hardcore pass. All right, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to the video. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us get into the algorithm. Now we're entering the top three stocks in Bill Gates' portfolio, August 2023.
And the number three stock in Bill Gates' portfolio is the Canadian National Railway Company, ticker symbol CNI, coming in with $6.6 billion worth of stock for the Bill Gates and his foundation. This company is really dependent on the economy, right? If the economy is doing good and people are buying and selling goods, this company is going to make good money. But if the economy slows down, this company is really going to suffer. And we kind of see that in these numbers. Check it out. All right, we can see the Canadian National Railway Company is down 5.5% for the year. Three years, they're up 9%. And five years, we are up 25%. So they're, you know, over a five year time horizon, you're getting around a 5% compound annual growth rate, which isn't terrible, but you can go no risk with the CD right now and get around those numbers. The dividend isn't strong at 2% not the best dividend in the world. So, you know, if you get 5% with the 2%, you're getting around 7% a year, which isn't bad for a very stable company. And they're trading right in the mid-range. Uh, forward PE is around 20. Uh, their earnings are coming in with around $1.31 per share. The revenue is around 13 billion. The price to earnings is right in that middle range around 19 and the forward PE is 20. So that means analysts are expecting them to do worse in the future, not better. So that's a stock. It's a hard pass for me. I don't like the growth. I don't like the way the economy is going right now. If I was in this, I would be selling covered calls, trying to make some premium, a little more than the 7% juice you're getting right now. And if the shares get taken away, great. Because the economy, we could be heading into a mild recession heading into 2024, but we'll see what happens. But Canadian National Railway Company is a pass for me. The second largest holding in Bill Gates' portfolio is Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. They went from $6 billion to $8.5 billion, adding $2.5 billion worth of Berkshire Hathaway. I'm sure Bill Gates and his baller money is buying the A shares, but for our purposes, we can probably only afford the B shares. The A1s go for like 500 grand. So let's take a quick look at Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. This is one of my favorite companies in the world. And if you look at their numbers over the past five years, they're up 70% in the past five years. That's around a 14% compound annual growth rate, and you can't beat that. Berkshire is never really going to give a dividend. I don't think Warren Buffett really believes in giving money to shareholders that way. He would rather take the money he, he was going to give the shareholders in dividends and reinvest in other companies because, you know, Warren Buffett's a genius. But as far as safety is concerned, if you're in your 40s, 50s, and 60s and you really want to rein in on your investment risk, Berkshire Hathaway is the perfect stock for you. I love Warren Buffett. And Charlie Munger, I mean, those guys are, you know, icons in the investing world, and you can never go wrong with Buffett. He always puts your money in a safe spot for sure. So let's check out the number one holding in Bill Gates' portfolio. Owning around $14 billion in this company, the number one stock in Bill Gates' foundation portfolio is none other than. Microsoft. Microsoft has been an absolute beast over the last decade. In the last five years, they're up almost like 200%. It's absolutely insane. Year to date, they're up 31%. This stock is an absolute beast. I mean, how could you not own Microsoft in your portfolio? I mean, we look at one year, they're up 8%, three year, 50%, and five year, 192%. This stock is incredible. Bill Gates has amassed so much wealth by owning Microsoft and being a pivotal part of this company's growth story. I like Microsoft. I, how can you not like Microsoft? I mean, who, who doesn't like Microsoft? I mean, it's crazy that like Walmart and some of these other stocks are trading around the same PE as Microsoft. It's absolutely insane. Out of all the stocks in his top 10, I think I like Microsoft the best here on this channel. For me and my money, Microsoft is where I want to be. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Bill Gates' top 10 portfolio holdings. Do you like the stocks? Would you sell some? Which ones would you sell? Which ones would you keep? Which ones would you buy more of? I have to say Microsoft is without a doubt my favorite. And Caterpillar. I like Caterpillar too. I think there's going to be a lot of money pouring into this inf from this infrastructure bill into Caterpillar. So Caterpillar and Microsoft are my two favorites out of Bill Gates' top 10. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.